Hey, what's up, y'all? Chris Rebeats here, back with another video. I actually want to bring you guys a tutorial series, and I'm going to be focusing on one instrument, and that instrument is drums really can be the heart and soul of a beat. So with that, I'm going to be giving you guys some gifts of some tips of what you can do with drums inside of Reason. So let's jump into Reason and check out the first tip. So the tip that I want to show you guys for your drums is actually going to be linking pads inside of Kong. Easy way that we can do that is go here to press this Q quick edit mode pad group. And right here you have three options, mute, link, and alt. This alt section here is really interesting because what it allows you to do is select a pad and have it alternate between different pads. So say for example, down here with these kicks, I have two kicks right here, this kick and this kick, two different kicks. One is on C and the other is on D. If I want, I can alt, I can choose an alt group just for those two kicks. So for example, I can send those to H. So now whenever I press the kick, it will cycle through and then it will choose one of those H pads. So all of these H pads have been linked together. So anytime this appears as a link, it will actually choose one of these to alternate between. Also, if you guys are looking for training in Reason, one-on-one -on -one Zoom training, you can go to this website and sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session with me, Chris Repeats. So how is that helpful being able to link these pads and play them as alternates. Well, one way that we have it here is with our hi-hats. So we have about five hi-hats selected here. So that's going to play different hi-hats, but we also have a open hi-hat, which means it's just going to give us some random open hi-hats whenever we want. But we're also going to use this alt to be able to play that. So I'll show you what it can sound like. And all we did was press one key. We were just pressing the F key and it cycled through all of those different hi-hats. So I did it for the hi-hats, but I also did it for percussion. So here we have some percussion items. Every time I press the key, it's gonna play an alternate pad. So even though I'm pressing the same key, which is C sharp, even though I'm pressing the same key, it's giving me different pads. So that gives me the availability to play those different pads in that kind of play style sequence and create a pattern without having to play different keys. Play different keys. Play different keys. Play different keys. Play, play, play. Play different keys, play different keys. Play, 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 play different keys. Using that link mode inside of Kong allows you to link multiple pads together and that can really just help you to get a little more creative with your drums and your drum sequencing. And if you are interested in more videos, learning about how to spice up your drums or make your drums a little bit better, make sure to watch this next video. Happy holidays to you from Chris Reed Beats. Peace.